Hi, we're gonna be talking about Warp Tour. Warp Tour, if you don't know what it is, it's a music festival that happens every year. It goes to, I think, all states in America and then a few stops in Canada, I believe. But I have gone every year since 2015. And this year, my neck is cracked. It's the last year. So you see, Warp Tour is just a place for everyone to come together. It's a community. It's just so many concerts. If you if you've never been to Warp Tour, I would definitely say if you have the chance to go this year, even if you don't like that type of music, I would still say to go. At this point, it's a one in a lifetime opportunity now, so <laughs> that's depressing. But anyone that is older that's watching my videos, if anyone is older um, if you know what Woodstock is, when Woodstock, when Woodstock closed, I believe that's when Warp Tour started up. So I'm hoping that there's, um, another festival after Warped, because this is, like I said, this, I went every year, it's something I look forward to every year, and I'm hoping to vlog this year, since it is the last one, but I'm gonna get on with the video. And I'll also be telling you some survival tips for Warped Tour. I do have a video like this on my channel, I think it's still public, um, with a YouTuber called Mariah Emotionless. So if you've seen that, then you know some concert survival tips. Have I introduced myself? I'm Dan, hi. Like I said, Warped Tour is, um, once a year, not anymore, um, festivals, the music festival, they have all kinds of bands, they mainly have rock music, but there's also like some punk slash indie music and stuff like that. Those are the main people, the main bands and artists that go, but there are also some um, rappers as well. So let's go on to the survival guide. Warp tour, all day outside, all day. I think every time I go, I think the longest I went is, I know it's over eight hours. And for me, the show I go to is in July. So, eight hours outside in July. First tip, a lot of places, well I mean, I'm not sure if it's gonna be like this this year because it is the last year, so they're probably gonna be a bit more lenient on girls. Um, Oh my god, why do I burp in every video? Bring a water bottle. Um, I'm, I know in previous years, I'm pretty sure, at least the venue I was at, um, they didn't allow beverages in, but I believe you could bring like an empty water bottle. I know this year there will be um, free hydration stations, which is amazing because the past years I spent so much money on just water and stuff to drink. Like last year I got one bottle of water, just like a regular sized bottle of water, not even a big one or anything, for $3. The year before that I got a small thing of Gatorade, about that big maybe, $6. Um, anyways, try as hard as you can to get some food there, um, it can be really expensive, so if you can't get food there, try as hard as you possibly can to get it before and or after, um, I usually eat a bit after, maybe a tiny bit before.
also you're wanna gonna you're gonna wanna have some money just in case you know like you see any merch you wanna buy or there's a meetup that you wanna go to and you're just like take my fucking money keep your money in there definitely bring some deodorant bring deodorant if you really want to, bring a poncho just in case it rains. I mean, obviously check your weather forecast before you go, but probably bring a poncho because you never know. And like I said, it's outside all fucking day. So this video is really fucking pointless and I need to sit up. Ow, fuck. I'm in pain now.